A lot of gamers like to decorate their game rooms with various bits and pieces of gaming merchandise. It's a comforting feeling surrounding yourself in the trappings of the things you love. Video game merchandise was once niche but has reached the mainstream to the point of ubiquity. I would expect to find toys or merch at GameStop or maybe Best Buy, but even Walmart, Hot Topic, or Target has sections dedicated to it. From high-end replicas down to blind bag tchotchkes and loot boxes and everything in between, from brick and mortar to click and order, if you have a favorite game, you can probably find merch for it, even if the property doesn't seem very toyetic. But it wasn't always this way though, back in my day, the stuff was harder to come by. Don't get me wrong, there's always been some level of gaming merchandising, but it wasn't nearly as widespread. One of the more reliable ways to find gaming merch and toys was through cereal and fast food promotions. As a matter of fact, probably my first piece of swag was a set of Donkey Kong shoelaces that we won from the titular cereal. I wore them until their eventual disintegration. Getting a free toy from a cereal box or with a kid's meal was a good way for my parents to provide to us even when money was tight. These promotional items are not the main focus of my collecting, but over the years I still have amassed quite a collection. These tubs are full of various gaming merchandise, figures, club Nintendo items, and fast food premiums. My spreadsheet says I have over 400 items just in video game related premiums. If there is any interest, I wouldn't mind featuring these various sets on my channel. Currently, Subway has Sonic the Hedgehog toys and I just completed the set. I'm not fanatic about these, but I check the fast food websites every so often and occasionally check in on the Video Game Memorabilia Museum website. The Happy Meal website used to give a sneak peek into the next promotion, but as of last month, now they are just giving a hint. The current hint seems to be pointing at another Super Mario set soon. This makes sense as Super Mario is the current set over in the UK. Not that that's a guarantee. There are past occasions of Mario sets being exclusive to other territories, or an eventual truncated release in the US. Another clue is the art on the hint. These clouds seem to match the clouds from the UK Happy Meal box, and even the box from the US's last Mario set. It seems they are using stock assets. I'm not the only one to notice this, as Tickets to Toy Time has concluded the same thing in her video a month ago. I don't see any date on the site, but the page source lists now through July 23rd for the current toys. And finally, as I was finishing this script, news finally broke with images from the set, and now seems all but official. So, in about two weeks, it looks like I'll be having Happy Meals for lunch, and if you like Mario toys, I invite you to join me. I could just try to get these after the fact from eBay, but where's the sport in that? This isn't right, is it, Dad? No, it isn't, son. Well, what kind of video game merchandise do you have? Do you collect it, or do you just have a small assortment? Are you going to get the new Happy Meal toys? Thanks for watching.